Cars 101, everything you need to know about cars. Most importantly, they are your minimum dose of daily movement if you want to maintain joint health and joint mobility. More specifically, CARS is an acronym for Controlled Articular Rotations. Active rotational movement through the outer limits of your joints motion. We have infinite CARS because we have different grades or intensities of CARS and you can do almost every base position you can imagine, but we have a CAR for every joint. Rules. There are rules for CARS. First of all, we have a target joint. So the challenge is to move the target joint through full range of motion with full control and limiting compensations at neighboring joints. The other rules are we never push through pinching, pain, or cramping. If you do get those three sensations, you simply make the circle smaller and just recheck your radiation, recheck for your compensations, and sometimes the pinching will go away with that. So, C for car is control. Go slowly in the beginning, make it intense, make it mindful, close your eyes if you want. And then as you get better, you can increase the speed. Just make sure you don't sacrifice the quality of movement. Advice. This is not a rule, but really important advice. The end position is never the goal in kin stretch and FRC. The quality of movement and the body control is the goal. This is about improving, not impressing, as Hunter says. And I always want you to think about your greatest, safest effort. Be selfish. Don't do something that hurts and don't do something where you're compromising the quality of control. The purpose of CARS, it is a multi-purpose tool. So it is to maintain and improve joint range of motion, maintain and improve joint health. Remember, movement is the only thing that nourishes articular cartilage and prevents that maturation of fibrotic tissue. It is also a self-assessment tool. Our car is an expression of our joint workspace. How big is the workspace? And is there aberrant joint function, that pinching or closing angle pain that you get at the ends of motion? And if you have that, it means you need to work on the health of that joint. Lastly, it prevents injury. The more intelligent that joint is, the more your brain knows about your joint, the less chance that you're going to get injured when you're in these positions that we don't always get into. Let's talk about grades of cars because there are three and they're quite different. Grade one, the motion is the goal. There's no blocking, there are no props. You're just consciously trying to get the best quality of motion that you can. So relatively low intensity. Grade two, the joint specificity is the goal. So we start to really create blocking to help us be specific. So if we're doing a shoulder car, we might use the wall as a block for our chest, for example. The intensity is higher and we're really getting biofeedback to see if we're cheating at other joints. Grade three, the intensity is the goal. So we add props, we squeeze the ball, we throw in a block, we do things to increase the irradiation because the more irradiation, the more sensory afferent input we get, which means we get better, faster biological and neurological change. Assessing your cars. There's a lot of good information that comes out of your car and I really recommend videotaping yourself every once in a while. The way we think we are moving is not always the way we are moving and it can be very educational. We often do need a proprioceptive reset. We think this is here, but it's not. So you use the video or a mirror and then you realize, ah, oh, this is here. So the things you want to assess, number one, how big is your car? And if you're doing them regularly, it will probably increase in size. Number two, what is the quality at the ends of the car? So are you getting that closing angle pain, that aberrant joint function? If you do get that, then that's where we tend to use our pails and rails and eccentric neural grooves and techniques to clean up the quality of tissue around those areas. So we do want those, the quality of the car to change and feel better at the end. And then how much compensation are you getting at the beginning? And that should start to improve and you can really dissociate and get independent joint function, build that intelligence. So do use those as metrics to see if you're moving forward.
And lastly, take home message. Cars aren't glamorous or exciting, but just like brushing your teeth, they're kind of an essential daily habit. We know from the principle of progressive adaptation, the law of specificity, if we do not use something, we lose it. Our body is constantly adapting. It's just wondering what do we want it to adapt to. So movement is medicine, and it's one of the best things that you can do for your future self.